Welcome back to the Runestone Museum. I'm Amanda, the executive director here at the Runestone Museum Foundation. I'm actually outside in one of our nine historic buildings that we have here at Fort Alexandria, which is our outdoor campus. This is one of our focuses for our preservation project, which is our campaign this year for Give Minnesota. So because we have so many outdoor buildings and they are original, we do need to replace logs and walls every once in a while due to the Minnesota winters, due to rotting and whatnot. So one of our big focuses has been this, this stagecoach stop. And you can see behind me where the walls meet this was always intended to be a temporary wall when we took this building and rescued it in 2012. So we do need to replace the wall, which we want to do with hand-hewn logs. And we do have some, but we don't have enough. And we want to replace this wall and really turn this building into its own exhibit. So this building is the original 1867 stagecoach stop. It was rescued from Miltona, Minnesota, which is northwest of Alexandria, still in Douglas County. So this building, uh, served as not only the stagecoach stop along the stagecoach uh, trail, which eventually became the railroad, but it also was a general store, a post office, a dance hall, and uh, it served as a hotel when need be. And then the family which ran the stagecoach stop actually lived upstairs. So we wanna tell that story as well when we're turning this into its own exhibit next year. But again, before we do that, we do need to replace this wall. And if you see behind me, the hand-hewed logs there that have chinking, which is the plaster looking stuff in between. That's what we want to do on this wall. And we also want to build out a bit with part of a lean-to barn so that we can represent where the horses would be and visitors can experience what it might be like to really be in a stagecoach stop from the 1860s here in uh, rural Minnesota. So the stagecoach stop is also part of our transportation initiative. So this January, we'll be doing uh, community ed classes called One Shoe Canoes and a Stagecoach 2, which we'll be talking about stagecoach travel. And we're doing that in collaboration with the other museums in town, the Douglas County Historical Society and the Legacy of the Lakes Museum. So this is a little bit of what our preservation project is. You can see a little bit of what needs to be done. And I'll also show you just a couple snippets of some of the other buildings that we need to replace logs on and that need attention for our preservation project. Thank you. As you can see, this is a part of our blacksmith shop which is one of the nine historic buildings we have out here in Fort Alexandria at the Runestone Museum. And it's supposed to be flush all the way up. You can see that it's coming out. And also these logs are in disrepair. You know, the depth of my hand, this is all rotted and needs to be basically disassembled and reassembled with fresh material. Um, we do have some original 1880s hand-hewn logs that we may be able to use for this project, but we do need additional materials and we need chinking materials. And you can see it's all along this, this wall, basically. So we do need to replace this before it completely falls apart. I just wanted to point out our original smokehouse, also from the 1800s. And I wanted to point out some of the damage that we have on this building as well. So you can see it needs new chinking and it goes down. But if you look to the other side, you can see how leaning this one has gotten and it's over that base log there. So we basically have to disassemble this building as well and reassemble it with hand hewn logs and then do the chinking in addition. We did get a new door because our old door was in really rough shape. Um, but unfortunately we will need to redo this building along with next to it is a laundry building that is about the same size. So we are addressing this and want to salvage what we can to help recreate, um, you know, that experience of what it was like in the late 1800s here in Alexandria.